How's it going, guys? So, what we're going to talk about today is water bottles. So, here I got uh, two, two different styles of water bottles. Uh, this is a narrow mouth Nalgene 32 ounce. That's a pretty good water bottle. Um, these take drops. These things are freaking indestructible. <laughs> For everyday carry, everyday use, I use these. I use these at work. I use these every day. You know, I love them. This is a wide mouth. Uh, same deal. You know, they are indestructible. That is concrete drop marks on the bottom. You guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can or not. Concrete drop marks. I am very prone to dropping them on the concrete. <laughs> this one, in particular, quite a bit. But they're great water bottles. Um, you can't boil on them. That's the only downside. Um, there's videos of guys driving over these with trucks, actual Chevy trucks, and I guess a pickup. But uh, and they, they work. You know, they don't. They take a licking and keep on going. So it doesn't crush them or anything. Now the clean canteen, 40 ounce. Do you guys see that? These things are awesome. This is a brand new one. Never been used. Brand spanking new. Awesome. Really light. Really light. Um, this transfers heat to your hand directly. Um, so they sweat really bad. These plastic ones, they don't sweat as much. They almost don't sweat as all. You know, you got cold water in here and you're sitting out on a hot summer day with a lot of humidity. These don't really get any moisture on the outside and leach it down onto your table or whatever. But these just pour moisture off. It gets everywhere. It gets inside your bag. It gets everywhere. But uh, you can boil in them. They're really light. But the downside is if you drop it. You guys can see that. This one has had a lot of drops. And that's what we're going to talk about. This dent right here, I popped it out. Um, <laughs> it was really far in. I used the handle of a hatchet, or a handle of a hammer, and a hatchet, and I pounded it out. So if you guys are wondering about how to get some really big dents out of your wide mouth 40 ounce Nalgene's, or not Nalgene's, but uh, clean canteens, um, just find a piece of wood or a rod or a handle of something that fits in there and put it in at an angle and tap it and pull, tap it and pull. And it'll pound them out, you know. Um, I don't know how many times you can do it before it breaks, but I've boiled in this, cleaned it up. They do boil. And like I said in some of my previous videos, if you do boil in these, make sure you take your lid off and you cover it with some aluminum foil or something to keep the ashes out if you're doing it over a fire. Um, one drawback to this style of a lid is you see the water down there in the bottom. So that comes out and it gets all over everything. You'll have this screwed on, it'll go sideways, You'll go to take a drink, and the water goes down the side. The water builds up in here, so something to use. If it's water, it's not that bad, but these things, I usually put Gatorade mix in and all that other stuff, and it gets all sticky down the sides of them, so that's something to watch out for if you're going to use them. Um, but other than that, yeah, they're, they're really good. So, if you do, I dropped this one on concrete from a height of two and a half feet. It rolled out of the back of my Jeep. And when it hit the ground, it landed on the corner, right down here. It landed like this, bam. And then it hit the top, bam. And when that happened, the lid blew off. It was full of brand new filtered water out of the fridge. Um, out of a Brita, and it blew the top of the the lid off, and that caused a huge concern for me because 
I was just leaving the house. If I would have been out in the field on the trail or out hunting and this was my only means of water, granted I could boil water in it, but I would have just lost 40 ounces of water like that. So I do really like these ones because you drop them, they're not going to do that. The lids have never came off. I've dropped these from, I think, three and a half feet. I think that's my measurement, maybe four feet uh, from the top of a file cabinet onto concrete floor. And they don't bust open, they don't dent, but you can't boil in them. So you could carry around a little cup and boil it and put it in. Or you could carry one of these, but I do carry one of these. Um, I carry these if I know I'm just staying in town, nothing's going on. And I carry these if there's a possibility of me having a really bad day. <laughs> so sometimes I'll have two or three. I take uh, three of these to work, take one steel, and I take those two. And that's what I take to work, and I work 12 hours. And that's more than enough water for me, even in the summer, even in, you know, 104 degrees. That's more than enough because I'll have a Gatorade, I'll have a Rockstar. Probably not good for you, but that's how I do it. So, that's my review on them. Um, I recommend all of these bottles. They're great. This one's a little harder to clean, easier to drink out of because it's a narrow mouth. So if you're drinking, just drinking water, you're fine. Just get a bottle brush. Um, the wide mouths, uh, kind of got to pay attention because I've spilt water all down my front. But they're great. They're easy to clean. You can pop ice cubes in them. Um, these ones don't hold any flavor if you put Gatorade in them. I've never had any flavor used or any flavor at all leach into my water after that. I wash them out the bottle brush um, these same thing with these no flavor um, no flavor leaching or anything like that when you have a brand new one um, it does taste a little metallic and metally at first um, tell you get a couple uses you know just uh, drink a couple things of Gatorade out of it wash it out scrub it out and then as soon as it's like that you you don't have any metal taste one thing you do have with this you get a really weird sound and when this thing is full it's got a little ting sound to it like a water in a tank tinging sound it's it's pretty cool <laughs> um, but these ones you don't you don't have that you just got sloshing water sound so it's uh... I don't know you gotta have both of them so outdoor use great outdoor use great um, as long as you have like a purifier or another means of water, you're fine. Um, to boil water, these are great. I've boiled water with these, campfire. Um, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Bud Light stoves, uh, alcohol stoves, and propane stoves, and all that. So they work out great. I've even set this straight on top of a wood-burning stove in a house warm all my water up but if you do that take your lid off you don't want that blowing off you know hot water and steam in a pressure vessel not a good idea but check out the clean canteens these fit fantastically in the max edition bottle pouch um, the nesting cups do work on this you grab all the shit so here is your nesting cup got a bunch of stuff up here I don't need your now beans fit fantastically in a nesting cup. 32 ounce Nalgene wide mouth. A lot of people are going to ask these questions. 32 ounce narrow mouth. And your clean canteen 40 ounce wide mouth. They fit great in here. They're all the same size basically. So this does have a lot more sound of rattling. You can put, uh, um, uh, not a handkerchief, but a bandana. You can put it in there, but it will wedge. So if you try to muffle it with that, it'll wedge. Coffee filters are better for muffling sound. 
then this one is pretty quiet. So it depends on your purpose, you know. What are you going to use it for? What do you need it for? What are you going to be doing? And if you're going to have a possibility that you're going to have a bad day, maybe you're going to use one of these bottles, take a cup, or, you know, just take one of these, or take a cup of one of these, and you'll be all right. You can gather water, boil it, boil it, whatever you want to do. They do make a pretty cool thing from the Pathfinder store for hanging these over the fire. This is a stainless steel fish mouth spreader. It's like three bucks from the Pathfinder store. And it is awesome. It comes undone just like that. Hooks just like that. Comes undone. Take off your lid. And you pinch it. You drop it in and you let go. And there it is, right there. It'll hold it. It latches in these little grooves down in here. You guys can see that? So, it latches in those grooves. And there you go. Now you can just suspend this over a fire and have it hang in there, boiling, pull it off, and you're done. And it's really lightweight, so that's usually how I do it. If I got a campfire, or I'll set it in there. Um, just rub some soap on here so it's easier to clean up. A little tip, a little uh, liquid hand soap, so the soot cleans off a lot easier. As you noticed on the bottom of this, it's got a little heat damage. But put some soap on there. It's there for using, not looking at. That's what I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know.